All right, folks, so I want to talk about a clip from Fox News that by now I'm sure you've either seen or at least heard about. This features Lou Dobbs, and he responds to news that Attorney General William Barr did not find evidence of widespread voter fraud. What you are about to see here is legitimately one of the most unhinged segments that Fox News has ever put out. Good evening, everybody. President Trump, his legal team, members of the Republican Party making advances today in the battle for the White House. There have been significant developments in six key battleground states, all of which, all of which bolster President Trump's charge that there has been clear electoral fraud, fraud that nullified the will of the people in the November election. The president's progress puts him at odds with the insidious rhinos, radical Dems, corporate America, big tech, and the deep state who have tried to overthrow his presidency for more than four years. Today, a member of his own cabinet appeared to join in with the radical Dems and the deep state and the resistance. Attorney General William Barr, who has been absent for weeks and weeks, telling the Associated Press that the U.S. attorneys and FBI agents who have followed up on complaints of specific voter fraud across the country, have produced nothing. To date, we have not seen fraud on a scale, he said, that could have affected a different outcome in the election. For the Attorney General of the United States to make that statement, he is either a liar or a fool or both. He may be uh, perhaps compromised. He may be simply unprincipled. Or he may be personally distraught or ill. But in no way can he honestly stand up before the American people and say that the FBI has, with any integrity or intensity, investigated voter fraud in this country and then say it did not amount to anything. Wow. I am at a loss for words. Even for Fox News... This is a bit much. It's a bit much. And I know that Lou Dobbs is and always has been one of the more reactionary and stupid hosts over at Fox News, even though the bar is low, like he, he's one of the stupidest. I don't even believe that he believes what he's saying. I, I just don't. I think that probably what's happening, although I'm not 100% sure, is that he's just trying to placate the Trump supporters that watch his program. That has to be the case. Because what he's saying is like quite literally the opposite of what's happening. He's saying there have been significant developments in six key battleground states, all of which bolster President Trump's charge that there has been clear electoral fraud. The opposite is happening. There was never a case to begin with, but even the claim that they made is falling apart because of their own stupidity. And even though they're just fabricating claims of fraud, even they can't keep their story straight. They're doing press conferences where Rudy Giuliani literally has black liquid secreting from his head. <laughs> this is a joke, and anyone who buys into this is stupid. I'm sorry, but you're stupid if you believe this. So there's no way that even someone as dumb as Lou Dobbs, and he's a dumb guy, believes this. I think he's trying to placate MAGA chuds. And, and I say this because, like, even the most tepid criticism of the fraud case, that leads to a revolt from MAGA chuds, right? We saw when Tucker Carlson, he simply asked Sidney Powell for evidence, and they turned on him. Laura Ingram tried to let them down easily and say, look, I, we've tried this, you know, but I don't think it's going to work for Donald Trump. I think that he's out. And on January 20th, like it or not, Joe Biden will be sworn in as the next president of the United States. Even just saying that, trying to, you know, tap dance around the truth, try to let them down easily, they still turn on them. So if you want to keep that audience, you have to tell them exactly what they want to hear. They're not tuning into Fox News so they can get this objective take on the news as it is. They want to be told what they want to hear. So Lou Dobbs acknowledges that, and I think that what he's trying to do is placate them. Now, there is a possibility, a strong possibility, that he just is as stupid as as it appears. I mean, Occam's razor, right? But I just, it's hard, even for Lou Dobbs, this is so stupid and so 
bizarre that I, I find it difficult to believe that even he would believe this. Uh, but ironically, he says, Bill Barr is either a liar or a fool or both. Projection much? Because that's what we're seeing from you. Either you are a liar or a fool or both. And I would say that regardless if Bill Barr is telling or, or uh, if uh, Lou Dobbs is telling the truth about what he feels with regard to Bill Barr, uh, he's still an idiot and a fool. But to believe this, to believe the opposite of what's happening, where there's been significant developments that could change the result of the election and unnullify the result, I mean, it's just... It's too batshit insane even for Lou Dobbs. Either way, this is unhinged and dangerous. And, you know, what we're starting to see is this whole voter election fraud thing that they're they're trying to perpetuate, it is hurting them, right? They're, they're basically cutting off their noses to spite their faces because it's leading to people wanting to boycott the election, uh, the runoffs in Georgia, right? Trump supporters specifically, who feel as if, well, if my vote doesn't matter, if Democrats just nullified the election results... Why even participate in this sham process? Let's just boycott it all together and say, you know, fuck you to the whole system. So I don't know if that's actually going to be significant enough to actually change the results of the election where that many Trump voters boycott it. Who knows? But uh, what we're seeing here, honestly, like, we're going to look back at this moment. I truly believe this. And it's going to be shocking. Like, we're in the moment right now, so, like, we're kind of just accustomed to this type of unhinged rhetoric on Fox News, but I truly believe that if we don't kill ourselves, that being human beings, we're going to look back at this moment in history and think how much of the population was, like, actually delusional. Like, we're living in George Orwell's 1984, but what's sad is that the individuals who are the most deluded have co-opted 1984, and they're the ones who believe that they actually have the real truth. It's just, it's a weird era in American politics, perhaps one of the weirdest ones, and theoretically, we should be more informed than ever since we have phones and, like, unlimited information uh, at our fingertips, but we're dumber than ever as a society, and you see things like this, where Lou Dobbs is just straight up going on these unhinged rants, saying quite literally the opposite of what's happening. Unreal. <laughs> but entertaining. Entertaining, nonetheless. You know... You... You... You know... You know the... You know the thing... thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.